Hi there and welcome to Wired In. My name is Jan Nell and today I'm going to show you how to edit your default Joomla registration form in Joomla version 3. To show you what I mean, I've installed a demo site that I'm going to use for this tutorial. And to start off, let's have a look at the problem. If you click on create an account, the default registration form appears. And like many other people, you want to add different fields to this form based on the nature of the website that you have. To do so, we are going to do two things. First, we're going to edit that we're going to add some rows to our database table. And secondly, we're going to edit three forms, three files in the Joomla file system. So, what we're going to do is we are going to add five different types of fields here. First will be a regular text box. The second will be a text area. We will also be using a selection drop down list, a checkbox, as well as radio boxes. Um, I'm trying to cover all, all of our bases here. So, we're going to add these five fields between the name and the username. Okay, so what we do in the front end or in the public area, we must also be able to duplicate in the administrative area. So at the end of this tutorial, we would also want these five fields to be displayed in the user's details. So when you click on a user, you want to see the the five different fields that we're going to add here we want to see them here as well so let's get started first of all let's go to our database I've installed a tutorial database for the purpose of this tutorial and I am going I have selected to use TUT underscore as a table prefix yours might differ but we want to go to this TUT underscore users table. As I said, your prefix might differ. So, this is the table that we want to work with. We want to change the structure of the table. So, we're going to click on structure. And then we want to add five rows between name and username. And to do so, we are going to add five columns after name and click on go. This form will appear and we can just complete the, the fields. First of all we're going to add a input type text that the user can use to insert their surname type varcar 255. The second one is going to be bio bio and it's going to be type text. This is going to be our text area third one is location it's going to be var car 255 and it's going to be our selection drop down list newsletter is going to be our checkbox it's going to be a tiny int as defined by zero and finally we're going to have our radio boxes which the users can select their gender which is going to be a tiny int as defined by zero you're going to click save and once this table users has been altered successfully we can close the php my admin area as we are now completed the next step will be to edit the actual files that is responsible for rendering this form I am going to go to my Joomla files now. As you can see, I'm in the tutorial website file directory, and our first file that we're going to edit is in the libraries Joomla, and finally, it resides in the users folder. This user.php file is the first file we are going to edit. As you can see, that file has opened in my editor, and uh, I'm using Zen Studio, which I recommend. 
but it is a bit expensive. Uh, we are going to look for line 42 where the public variable name is equals to null. We are going to copy that line of code and we're just going to paste it five times. The first one we're going to change to surname. Please make sure that the dollar sign remains intact. The second one is bio. The third one will be location. The fourth one will be newsletter. And the final one will be gender. Please ensure that the spelling is exactly the same during and throughout this entire tutorial. If you make a spelling mistake, you will likely receive an error or your forms will not function as they should. So, once you've added these five lines underneath name but above username, you can save this file. I'm using Control S and you can close the file. We are now completed with that file. The second file that we are going to edit, if I can go back to my Joomla file directories, we will go into components, into users or com users, into models, forms, and this registration.xml file is the file that we are going to edit. This registration.xml file uh, has a lot of uh, blocks of code in it, each one of which is responsible for a field in your website. As you can see, name is this is the block of code for name, and this is the one for username. So they correspond with the name and the username. And between those blocks of code, on line 19, we are going to start inserting our fields. Now, our first block of code I'm going to paste in and it looks like this. It is a field with a name, surname, spelled exactly the same as in the database. Type text, class, input box. It has a label that you can change, a description that you can change and a message that you can change. I've set the required attribute to true. You can change it to false if you'd like. I'm just going to keep it as true with the size 30. Once you've saved this file and you go back to your website and you refresh, you will see that the surname box has now appeared between the name and the username. So this is what we're going for here. Okay. Back to registration.xml, we've just copied this block of code in here. We're going to paste in our other fields quickly. So for our text area, it looks like this. A field with a name bio, like in the database, the type text area. Um, I'm hoping that you guys see the difference here between the, the type text and text area. It has a label, a description, and a message that you can change. I've added a calls and rows attribute to set the size dimensions more or less correct. You can change that as well. That is our text area field. Next, we're going to insert our selection list. And this is how it looks like. Please be sure to copy every single line just as I've pasted it in here, otherwise you might receive an error or your form might not function as it should. This is a field that has a name location, a type list, which is important to note. Uh, default zero, yeah, that is not required, but you could leave it there. Uh, label your country. It is a selection list that will enable users to select their country of choice. A description which you can change and then our options. Each one of these lines is an option with a value equals to the name that the user will be selecting. So 
if you select India, the, the value India will be posted to the database. And the same for all the other values. Now it's important to note that this block of code ends with a larger than at the end of the description there. And then after that larger than, the options is listed. And after all the options is listed, we close our field again using the closing field tag. Please be sure to make sure you copy every single line of code in here, otherwise your form won't work. Next up is our checkbox, which looks like this. Our checkbox has the name newsletter, type checkbox, default value of zero, a label and a description that you can change. That is all that is required for our checkbox. Finally, we will add our radio boxes, which looks like this. The idea here is that the user can select their gender using radio boxes. So the name is gender, type radio, default value of zero with a label of gender, and the description that you can change with the two options, male and female, with the closing field tag. This block of code is very similar to our selection list in that, please note, there is a larger than sign after the description and after that, the options are listed. And when the options are done, there is a closing field tag. So this is very important. So I just want to save this file, but keep it open. Don't close it and then go back to the website and refresh the website. We will now see that between the name and the username, there is five new fields. Surname, bio, country, which is a selection list, a newsletter, which is a checkbox, and a gender of male or female. That is what we aimed to achieve. But now we have to do the same for the administrative backend so that those values can appear here as well. And the good thing is we've already done all the coding to achieve that. In our registration.xml file, we have everything we need to achieve that. But we have to edit the file that is responsible for the administrative area. So I'm, I'm back into the website directory. We're going to go to administrator. We're going to go into components. Com users, which is almost at the bottom. We're going to go into models, into forms, and finally this user.xml file is the file that we're going to edit. So having the user.xml opened here with the registration.xml file that we've just edited opened here, we can just basically take the registration.xml code that we've entered which is from surname all the way down to, to gender. We can select all that code. Make sure you have got all the code selected. You can copy it, go over to user.xml, and between your name and username, we're going to paste that code and make sure you've got all the lines. After you've pasted it, you can save it. And if we go over to our admin site and we refresh, we see that our surname, bio, country of choice, newsletter checkbox, and gender radio boxes now appear in our administrative backend as well. So all that's left to do is to fill out the form and see if everything worked. I will check this newsletter and I am in fact a male
Now that the form is complete, I will click on register. These errors that Joomla returns is as a result of my WAMP service SMTP settings not being correct, but this warnings and notices should could be disregarded as it is not important. The form still submitted. So if we I just want to close this up and then you will see there is the user that I've just registered with the ID of 158. We will have a look at that in the database just now. If you click on that username, the user details is displayed. There you can see is the surname, the bio, the country, which I selected as other. I wanted to receive newsletters and I'm a male. So at this point uh, we have now successfully completed this tutorial and we have achieved what we set out to achieve. So if there is any errors that you receive I suggest that you have a look at your code and make sure you've got all the characters in the correct and proper placement. For example, this this larger than sign, which usually is the reason why you will receive an error if you forgot that. Uh, I can do that quickly if I remove that and I click on save and we go back uh, to this form and click on create an account. You will see the requested page could not be found, an error has occurred and generally speaking it's, an, it's called an error 500 because Joomla could not load the file as a result of a simple syntax error that causes this error. So I'm going to put back that larger than sign, save it, and then I'm going to refresh this page and your form should then render without any issues. So if you've got errors, just check your code, check your, check your syntax, make sure you've got all your double quotes in the correct places. Make sure that the name that you gave your fields corresponds exactly with the name that you uh, gave in the database and in the user.php file that we edited first. And uh, so that is it. We only edited the database and three PHP, one PHP file and two XML files to achieve this. And I think this is a successful completion. If you've reached this point, I hope that I've helped you to create better and more appropriate forms for your users to use. Please like us on Facebook, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter. My name is Jan Nell. I thank you for watching and uh, leave your comments below. If you think I'm a bad programmer, then tell me. I want to know what you think. Thank you very much and uh, good luck. Happy coding.